Welcome to Dr. Jester Runs, and I'm gonna run to both exceptionally stupid stuff that has accumulated during the weekend. Well, let me run about this. From out here, Code of Conduct. Everything else in here you're going to see here is cookie cutter uh, tensor services. And before I go, I need to make a to give a thank you to the community. To the subreddit Kotaku in action for the user the Dappy Dreams for bringing this to everybody's attention, but not to spoil the the content. Um, I'm not going to show the the subreddit yet. If I don't forget about it, that is, and that is usually something I do. But either way, I um, I'm giving him credit for the leg work, but uh, everything else, let's go, shall we? Code of conduct. This policy is a living document uh -huh. on the subject of refinement and expansion in the future. Well, okay, so far so good. Right now it feels very soyish for them to come up with something like that. No, no, let's just zoom in. Oh, there. Dedicated to providing harassment a free experience for everyone, regardless. I want you to focus on this. Regardless of gender, gender identity, and expression, sexual orientation, disability, mental illness, stereotype, physical appearance, body age, race, ethnicity, nationality, language, or religion. Woo! Okay, fine. And cookie cutter on the 21st century. It's... it's uh, Okay, we do not tolerate harassment of participants in any form. Okay, so far, remember, keep that in mind. Keep that whole <laughs> paragraph in mind. Do not forget it. Memorize it. <sighs> Some out there sponsor spaces may have additional rules in place, which will be made clearly available to participants. Participants are responsible for knowing and abiding to these rules. Okay, so basically, uh, that is uh, saying that if a streamer makes up a certain rule, you must know and abide to it. Okay? Alright. So, cookie cutter. Normal shit. Let's go. Definitions. Alright, harassment includes offensive comments related to gender, gender identity, and expression. So basically, you cannot mock pronouns, okay, SGW nonsense, sexual orientation, disability, mental illness, neurotypical, typicali, typicality, physical appearance, body size, age, race, or religion. So you cannot mock uh, wokeists because, you know, it's their religion. Alright. Unwelcome comments regarding a person's lifestyle choices and practices. Okay, so you cannot comment that the idiot looks like a retard if they have pink hair and going bald. Including those related to food, so you cannot mock vegans, health, you cannot mock land whales, parenting, you cannot mock bad parents who require, who uses TikTok for parenting. Drugs, you cannot mock fucking potheads and methheads, unemployment. Okay, you still can't mock unemployed people. Hey, deliberate misgendering or use of dead or rejected names. Okay, it's starting to get downhill very fast, isn't it? Yeah, it goes okay, cookie cutter, and then it starts going like a roller coaster with no ups. Anyway, dead or rejected names. Misgendering. Oh, wait. Look, if you look like a goddamn fucking male in a drag, or a male with, with beard and everything else, I'm going to address you as a he. I'm not going to make the extra effort. Unless you actually make the effort to actually look like the opposite gender. Then, yes, I'll classify you as a she or her. Otherwise, a he, him. And no, I will not, not use they, them. They, them are fucking retarded that I should not be used anywhere. Except in very, very specific grammatical and logical cases. Anywhere else? Alright. 
Let's see. Uh, gratuitous off topic sexual images or behavior in spaces where they are not appropriate. So, no dirty jokes. So, not the lick me, lick ma, or the ligma jokes. So, no ligma jokes. Oh, fuck's sake. There goes half of the fun that the that the watchers of streamers have. I find that harassing and absolutely insulting to viewers. I mean, that's part of the fun. I find that harassing to me. So I can't make my any more Ligma jokes? Huh, Ligma balls. <laughs> Alright. Physical contact and simulated physical co wait, 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 how are you going to, pro to do physical contact on a stream? Unless you leave the person, so are you going to kick out of the person out of all there if they don't have the account and they make physical contact with the person? Okay, I, 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 I'm confused. Let's just toss that one out as error in translation, probably. Simulated physical contact. Textual, textual descriptions like hug or back rub without consent or after the request to stop. That is next level stupidity. Uh, next, oh my god, that's sexual harassment! Oh, me too, me too, me too! That's basically what they are trying to insinuate in there. Good lord, these people are already retarded. Threats of violence? Okay, that's definitely something that should be curbed. Incitement of violence towards any, any individual? Right. Okay, so far so good. Including encouraging a person to um, to self-delete or engage in, uh, in damaging themselves. Huh. Okay, fine. Albeit there are parts of the joke that you go, Hey, you suck. Go! Self-delete or something like that. Hmm. Deliberate intimidation? Okay, stalking or following? Okay, fine. Harassing photography or recording, including logging online activity for harassment purposes? Okay, I'm confused. Does that include recording a stream uh, to show others the retarded comments the person made? Sustain disruption of discussion, unwelcome sexual attention, part of an appropriate social contact, such as requesting assuming appropriate level of intimacy with a uh, wait what? Part of an appropriate such as requesting assuming a what now? Continuing one on one communication after request to cease. So you don't have a block feature? I'm starting to think Altair has doesn't have a block feature with all of those rules over there. No, but bear with me here. Don't they have a block feature? If they have a block feature, that uh, that that shouldn't even be necessary to show up on the code of conduct. Yes. Deliberate outing of any aspect of a person's identity without their consent, except as necessary to protect vulnerable people from intentional abuse. Uh, remember, keep this in mind. Publication of non-harassing private communication. Altair prioritizes marginalizes people's safety over privileged people's comfort after... No, Altair reserves the right not to act on complaints regarding reverse isms including reverse racism reverse sexism and cisphobia so basically you are if you are a heterosexual male a straight super straight or if you're a heterosexual female or a white dude and you're getting harassment by other members of the community due to your immutable characteristics like race or sexual preferences you're pretty much on your own. You're fucked. They will do nothing. So, hmm. Does that mean this contradicts this little part over here? Because it feels like it's contradicting this. Are they retarded or something? Because it feels like they are retarded. Whoever wrote this must be a retard. No, 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 really. Uh, and we are not going to discriminate based on those reasons. Except, except it. 
and this and that. Jesus Christ! Are these people... This can't be illegal, can it? This can't be illegal. Holy fuck! So an SJW platform for SJWs, if you turns out not to be an SJW, or if you turn out to be one of the demographics they actually hate, according to the code, uh, the code of conduct, because if they actually did not discriminate against race, gender identity, or whatever, they wouldn't have added this actual, this actual section in fucking yellow. So they actually are discriminating against. But, but it gets worse. Not only on this section, but in the next one. You'll see. Anyway, reasonable communication of boundaries such as leave me alone, go away. I'm not discussing this with you. Communication, communicating in a town you don't find congenial. Criticizing racist, sexist, sexist or otherwise oppressive behavior or assumption. Good lord. They are retarded. Now we go to reporting. You they, they just usual cookie cutter in there. The person who is harassing is on is on the team. They will refuse themselves to handle your incident in turn. Please contact someone. Blah 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 blah. Now take a peek on this. We will take all good faith reports of harassment by all our community members, especially our terrorist leadership team, seriously. This includes harassment of the outside or species or harassment that took place at any point in time. The abuse team reserves the right to exclude people from the hotel community based on their past behavior, including behavior outside of other responsible spaces and behavior towards people who are not in the community. So basically what they are trying to tell you is that you will get banned if you mock somebody on Facebook. Or if you break one of the retarded out there rules over the year on Twitter. Or if you break more of the retarded out there com community guidelines on YouTube. While you're far, far away from streaming on the retarded platform. That's what they're trying to tell you. Basically, they are acting as police. Jesus Christ, are these people retarded? Don't, no, no, really. It seems that retards are so retarded that they do not know that the miracles of the condom in stopping retard from spreading. Please wear a condom when you're trying to fornicate with other fucking retards. Please, enough with the retardness. This is so retarded. Let's go. Because it gets worse. Yeah, you thought it couldn't get worse, but it does. Anyway, in order to protect volunteers from... No, 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 no. It needs soy. In order to pro uh, protect volunteers from abuse and ban it, we deserve the right to reject any report we believe have been made in bad faith. The other team are not here to explain power differential differentials and other basic social justice concepts to you. Hashtag, me too. Mm. Reports intended to silence legitimate criticism may be deleted without response. What they are trying to tell you here is that they will silence you if you report somebody. For, is, for instance, you're a straight white male and you're getting uh, attacked for your race and sexual orientation. And, they, and you report those individuals. Well, you know what they're going to do? Nothing. That's exactly what they're trying to tell you. But it may actually get worse, in fact. Because if you do report those individuals, we respect confidentiality requests for the purpose of protecting victims of abuse. At our discretion, we may publish the name of a person about whom we've received harassment complaints or privately wanted parties about them. If we believe that doing so, we won't be safety of other members or the general public. We will not name harassment victims without an affirmative consent. So basically, they are contradicting themselves. Again, deliberate outing of any aspect of a person's identity without their consent. So you're contradicting yourself, but on this you will release confidential information of other people publicly. Holy fuck, these people are stupid. 
What in the actual fuck were they thinking when they wrote this? What were they fucking thinking? This this cannot be legal, dudes. This is not this can't be legal. Maybe to, to I don't know, you're pretty much I think in my opinion you're opening yourself to legal action if anybody gets banned or or the details leaked by our team or something like that. This 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 is not right. I am sorry it is not right. Let's read. Consequences. Participants ask to stop any harassing behavior and expect to comply immediately. If a participant engages in harassing behavior, the entire team may take any action they deem inappropriate. Up to and including exposure from all out there spaces. Identification of the participant as a harasser to all their community members or the public. Jesus Christ! Jesus fucking Christ! Diversity statement. Entire welcomes and encourages participation by everyone. No matter how you want to find yourself or how does it see you, we welcome you, we welcome contributors from everyone as long as they interact constructively with our community. Mm -hmm. So, it contradicts again itself. It's kind of like this. Uh, the water is wet. No, it's dry, but wet. Ah! That's exactly what they are trying to tell you. Jesus Christ, did they read this nonsense? Did they actually bother with this? Who the fuck wrote this nonsense? It must be a diversity hire. There is no other reason behind it. Let's see if I'm not doxing myself in here. All right, okay. I think I'm not doxing myself. Oh, of course it had to be. This is one from WeFunder. There. Um, funding platform that we're using to fund this absolutely retarded bullshit. Anyway, so they are based in Los Angeles, California. That explains absolutely a lot. Ah, these people are fucking filthy, fucking privileged because... Ah, ah, me. Look at me. Yes, I live in a goddamn third world shithole. I barely even have enough in here to do the usual living stuff, it's mostly on survival type, and these morons are so goddamn privileged that they actually get triggered over nothing burgers, and then they have the audacity, the audacity to actually go and say, oh, if we're a straight white male, mm, you're being enough, we don't care. Mm. And look at the team behind it. Look at the team. So basically, what you can actually take into account in here is that only two or three people are behind the coding and doing everything else. Everything. And others seem to be doing nothing. And the, here is the, the other thing. These people are absolutely, absolutely obsessed with their sexuality and skin race. Bisexual and proud believes in Oxford commas. Diversity hires. It's it's sad. It's sad that things like this are procreate. But I'll be fine if you have a retarded platform like this, like BreadTube. But the problem is, is that things like this are created. The alternatives are bullied to cancellation. Looking at Rumble and other platforms, and other platforms like Twitch are getting sex infested by morons like these. They can look more or less, this is from their main page, but I took the screenshot that they showed there as a way to highlight this stupidity. This is how it's supposed to look. And as you can see, they damn, she, her, she, her, he, him. I wonder if I can actually add my pronouns. Lord Overlord. Or God, worship me. Obviously, they will ban me if I actually use my proper pronouns. Good lord, these people are stupid. These people are stupid. And to prove that this actually comes from the front page, here. 
Lo de Public Benefit. Public Benefit. Stop contradicting yourself, you bunch of imbeciles! Privacy protected. We will not necessarily track you, email you, or send you to sell your data. We don't like... We don't like when this happens to us, and we have no interest in wasting our energy trying to make a buck. So basically, basically, you won't do that. But if you deem the, pro the person problematic, you're going to release their contacts and information outside. At least that's what you imply with your code of conduct. Plant creator structure? Ah, for fuck's sake. For fuck's sake. Jesus Christ. And they don't seem to be doing so well. After all, with only 111,837 so far. And running something like this, it may actually take much more than that, especially if you are based on California. Anyway, the, uh, the news I actually did remember came from here. That up in live stream platform out there that TV specifically states that if you harass on their platform because of being straight, they won't act on your reports. From that be dreams, got act in action. Thank you for doing for putting this into our attention because holy moly, this is stupid. Holy fuck myself. <sighs> anyway, if you like this type of content, say right here on youtube.com slash Jester. If you prefer spicy. No, wait, there's no spicy cut. Why do I keep them? Anyway, uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell button. <sighs> On that note, have a great fucking night. Because holy fuck, the world is getting stupider and stupider and stupider. <sighs>